This is Plus TV Africa, where big stories live. Welcome to Tea Time, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and definitely interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. What's good? Hello. What's good? How you doing? Well, Not bad, you? Good. How was your weekend? Restful, amazing, yes. sweet. Oh, wow. Okay. What did you get up to, Ife? A lot. Like? Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of sleep. <laughs> yeah. What else? Sleep, like, it was rest, you know, restful. when you've not had sleep for so long mm. and then you get to have hours and hours. Just not doing anything. Just not doing anything. You just wake up, you sleep, you wake up, you eat, you sleep, you wake up, you eat, you nice earth life. and sleep. Wow, I thought you said you were celibate. Um, I broke that this weekend. <laughs> Is that why you're kind of calm and relaxed and rested? Please don't go celebrate again, I beg you. In God's but, name. All right, so, but I'm good now. I'm good now. But you just was, told was, people on national TV that That, you, that I what? Okay. Wait, mm -hmm. You know. Mm. That yeah. what? So, I let's what? talk about your idol. Moving on real quick. Whiskey has become the first Nigerian singer to win an NAACP Image Award following the success of his collaboration with Af American Award winning singer Beyonce for the track Brown Skin Girl. Whiskey and Beyonce won the award for the Outstanding Duo Group of Collaboration at the 2020 edition. The NAACP Image Award is an annual awards um, ceremony presented by the US-based National Association for the Advancement of Colored People to honor outstanding performances in film, television, music, and literature. Mm. Of course. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to Whiskey on this one, but mm. um, none of um, Whiskey's achievement surprises me anymore because I know he's mm. just um, a legend like that and it's that's how star do. Yeah, mm. that's how star do, and he's just bound to be winning. You know, a lot of people have been like, "Ah, Whiskey is not doing so much. He will just post picture. We don't see him anymore. He's not doing anything." Like ah, that, even the Chris Brown he used to chill. He used to be chilling. That we don't see Whiskey doing anything anymore. And I'm like, fam, you don't even know what this guy is doing in the background. Like this guy is doing a lot right now. He's into fashion. He's into a lot of stuff mm. right now. That so you can't put Whiskey in anybody's space at this moment. Mm. So this doesn't come as a surprise. But some people will still say that it's not his award anyway. It's um, Beyonce. But I like the concept of this award, which is the NAACP, because it's the advancement of um, colored people. So yeah, and. Um, for whiskey, for someone like whiskey to be in this category just shows that, look, color people is not just about the African Americans anymore. It's now cut across Africa as well. We're beginning to get that recognition. And um, it's it's a beautiful thing. And big shout out to Beyonce as well. Congratulations to her. She's also a winner. So. This topic was just for you to gloat. You wanted to add to the joy you had over the weekend. <laughs> and I can see you're, you're having it. Whiskey fan. So mm -hmm. that was the reason we took it from this angle. However, from the award, I think I'm more excited about Rihanna's speech. Mm. There was an attitude that came with that powerful speech. And you're wondering, mm. she looked like she was just rapping or yeah, having fun. But bars, then she was, yeah. she was giving bars. you punchlines. Yep. And it was just so interesting to see. Yep. And I think she, her award um, was um, one of the biggest for the night. That's the prestigious award for her philanthropic side and all that she's been doing. So. Um, congratulations to everyone who won. Of course, I don't know if anyone would say Whiskey um, is not part of that award because it's clearly stated that it's for the collaboration. So yeah. it's a Whiskey as much as it's a Beyonce yeah, of award. Course, so of course. congratulations to Whiskey. I'm glad the fair is happy and I hope this keeps him in this mode all through the week. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. I, never I mean, know. I, I do like that it's also brown skin girl. It's mm -hmm. a very positive, um, powerful, powerful mm -hmm. message. And um, we were talking about bleaching the other day and if that doesn't, if this doesn't emphasize our point on the last show, then I don't know what else would. If Beyonce can tell you that you're popping, this is you're popping. Like you can't argue with anyone. Melanin. You, so um, it's really cool to see that. Um, it, it, it is about. It's, he's trending on Beyonce's um, success, but I still, I, I still don't think you can take it away from him that he still killed that collaboration. I mean, mm -hmm. she didn't only sing with Whiskey, she sang with a lot of other people, and it's mm. not a competition or whatever, but it still it's still trusted. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it stood out. So I'm happy for him. I do somehow feel like Whiskey hasn't really been giving me that much like he used to be before. Yeah. But I also think that it's just maybe he's just evolving in his career. I think mm. when you get to a certain point and you have gotten all the awards and all, you kind of have to evolve into another because like a living legend sort of. I'm just gonna tread carefully with that word, but he's. You know he's he's he has to transcend into a, into a, a higher place. So let's see what he has in store for us. 
Okay, moving on to the next story. Sean Didi revealed he has to undergo surgery to fix his um, quadriceps. Sharing the news on Instagram, he said, at the end of the day, this is God's work to slow me down and take better care of body and, you know, eat right and just stop treating my body like a machine. Um, he went on to say, okay, he was forced to cancel his appearance at a party on the 21st night of February after he was left requiring um, the surgery. So definitely we're wishing him well and a successful surgery, successful recovery. And I like that he's always finding the inspiration in whatever situation he finds himself. So um, I can't wait to say congratulations to him when he comes yeah. back to post. Oh, yeah. I'm better. Yeah. Now, apart from even coming back to post, I want a, a lot of artists to take cue from this because everybody's mm. always working like your body is a machine, like mm. you're not supposed to take any break. You know, a lot of people have shown concern about Bonner Boy's health mm. because it's always from one show to another, like since December last, what's December last year? Since uh, late last year, Bonner Boy has November. been in shows back to back, yeah. back to back, back to back, back to back. And people are wondering, like, how do you even get any rest? They see you in <coughs> Europe now, they see you in America next, they see you in the UK, they see you in Nigeria. They see So they're like, people are beginning to get really worried. And I think a lot of artists should take a cue from this that look, of every situation, there's a, there's a blessing. Yes, you it, it could be all about the money. The money is really important. We all know that. But at the end of the day, your health is also equally important yeah. so every chance so i like what didi said that um this is just a message from god to slow me down stop treating my body like it's a machine mm. so this is somebody that is even grateful about the bad thing that happened to mm. him but look this is a chance for me to rest and slow down so you don't have to be sick or you don't have to undergo a surgery for you to take time off. Yes, the money is important, the recognition is important, the awards are important. But when you pass on today, trust me, you would only be a legacy and yeah. we would only remember you for the works you've done. But yeah. why don't you want to leave to reap the fruits of your labor? So I think every artist, everybody putting in the work, we appreciate your work. You know, you, We know you're doing it for us, your fans, but we also care about your health. So from time to time, take some time off work and just rest. I mean, it's, it's, it's something that we have to be worried, it's, especially for a PDD, uh, well, DD, it's not DD, a DD fan. Like, I feel like it's been, he's been having a bit of, mm. a, of a series of patterns in terms of his body shutting down on him and stuff. So um, he obviously won't, wouldn't tell us his medical history, but if you follow, it's something that you need to be worried about. And I know he's sending positive message and he made he i feel like he made it very light and which is good because you always have to still stay grateful but it kind of sent like this alarming thing for me like mm -hmm. brah like this is actually a lot deeper than we think if it's like back to back to back to back of surgery so i yeah like he said if it's coming if he can see this as a sign then he needs to do whatever he needs to do i would take it from a from a um what's the word, pre, what, instead of having to cure, to prevent it. Mm -hmm. um, we're already in that kind of era where we are more health aware. Um, and that's just because the quality of our food and our lifestyle has kind of dropped from before, from back mm -hmm. then. Um, and I think that people that are coming up, especially um, in, P in Didi's lane of work, which is the rap and all that type of stuff, like you really need to start being careful about your health. There was a stats that came out and was giving lifespans according to your genre of music and people who did country music are more, more like 10 times likely to live longer just because of the choice of music that they're in so there is something wrong with our culture as in, and i'm talking like black overall and um, rap and all that type of culture so if it's that we're not eating right or we're drinking too much alcohol or it's drugs or whatever when you get to that age you might start to yeah, Chicken. I like that you're talking about the age as well because, yeah. I mean, you can't take that away. He's 50. 50. He's, yeah. he's lived, he's done a lot. So I think he should just slow down yeah. and take things easy because even for him to be in the hospital, he, from what he wrote, his doctors had to make him understand that you have it's to do yeah. this now. It yeah. is very important. So, and is that two rotation cups, one knee? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I mean, age, age, age is that. also catching up. Yeah. yeah. So he needs to slow down and enjoy, I think. Mm -hmm. All right, moving on to the final story. Before we introduce our very interesting guest, Derele Edu reveals why he keeps visiting Goldie's grave seven years after her death. In a chat with Sunday Scoop, he said, it is not about going there because I want to get attention or I want to be in the news. No, it is my own little way of protecting my friend's legacy and making people remember her. I'm not going to come up with a controversial agenda. It is my little way of letting people remember that there was once a Goldie, there is still a Goldie, and there will forever be a Goldie. 
anytime I do that, people remember her. Some stations play her music, and it might just be for that day, but somehow she's remembered, appreciated, and loved on Valentine's Day. End of quote. First of all, this um, is sweet. Yeah. Yeah, first of all, the way I want to see this from is um, if every body that Goldie has impacted their life or impacted their life while she was alive remembers her put up a post on Valentine's Day, which is the uh, anniversary, right? Do you know how many streams she will probably be getting on that day? So even if it's one day in every year, she will be cashing out, her legacy would leave Who's cashing out? She's gone. What? Her family. Her family. Right, because like, they're kind of weird. <laughs> and I say, she's, oh, she's still cashing out. Uh, her she's estate, uh, her estate, like she'll be cashing out, she'll be remembered, her legacy. So if a Dirley is the only one doing this, and just on that day, a lot of people go back to YouTube to go watch her videos, and some people go on Apple Music to stream her. So she has impacted, right? Yeah, not even only those, like the fact that I, I just remember a Goldie because I saw it Dirily post mm -hmm. and I just go and I watch, you know, imagine I, I, how many I, other I, people. I mean, I don't think that Dirily is the only person that is moved by that. I think Dirily is the only person that is doing that that we can see. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's the only one that goes to visit Goldie. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's other people in her life that she's impacted. They're just not celebrities or have enough coverage for us to mm -hmm. talk about it on this on this table. So it's good to just make that, that clearance. But I think it's a beautiful thing that he's doing. I don't think everyone is, ent is um, entitled or must, must do, do that. that. You, I can impact you. You can impact my life, but that doesn't mean I need to go visit you. I could have. Some people could do. You. <laughs> some people could be doing a lot more in their houses. Mm -hmm. I, for one, don't really mess with graveyards at all. Mm -hmm. I don't really like that. Except maybe it's like you know, people have those ones where it's built somewhere else and all that stuff. But I'm not really just a big fan of that. I can't handle that much grave at all so some people could do like throw parties at home you could do they could spend a lot more money than what they really is doing mm. so it's not it's not something you want to just equ like um equate and say okay because it's put it's posting on social media he loves her the most mm. like i don't no, think no, no, you no. can people are not even saying it is it's, it's doing it because he loves her the most some people have the opinion that he's doing it for clout right. that he's doing it to stay in the news every year that, and I'm wondering, like, why does a Dirily need, need to go that, and be yeah. visiting a Goldie's grave to And it's not a good clout. Like, Goldie yeah. isn't even that. Because they're saying he's doing it for publicity I'll stuff. I'll try to keep my mouth shut. Let us get there, please. But go ahead. But um, I saw one of his interviews where he was showing his um, shoe collections. And he has, like, two shoes from Goldie that he put in a special. Aww. And like, these are my special Aww. shoes. Yeah. So okay. you can tell that this is actually real friendship before yeah. she died. So and big he's a sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dirily yeah. is a sweetheart, for, him. for real. And he's a real guy too. Well. Even those that are alive, he shows them so much love. He does. You know, he really does. The dead. Yeah. So yeah, big shout out to Darren Lee on that one. Salute, yep. sir. Okay, um, it's time for a quick break. But when we come back, we'll definitely introduce our studio guests. We'll be right back. <laughs> 